What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Alex. Today I want to show everyone how to repair your Beat Studio headphones. Um, I'll put the description below for the specifics on the company I used to purchase them on Amazon and what exactly my version of Beats are so that you don't mix it up with other versions. Um, as you can see, uh, the part of my headphones are pretty worn out and I was actually going to purchase another one until I thought about looking at Amazon and checking out YouTube for some tips, if it was even possible. So uh, first, uh, the tools you're going to need are uh, some type of a uh, flat screwdriver, um, also some scissors, and obviously a brand, uh, brand new headphone replacement part. Alright guys, uh, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is... Uh, slowly just uh, go around the, the headphones, the circular part, and just slowly lift it up. Um, as you can see, I'm doing like a little uh, twist motion. Um, and just go all around. All right, uh, once you do that, so next, just start uh, pulling that part out. And I want to show you a mistake I did. So I'm going to freeze it right there. So right on the bottom right, you see that black part. Um, I didn't take, I should have took the whole thing off. So that was my mistake. And, uh, you know, I found out, you know, later on after trying to put on the, the part of the headphone that uh, something was wrong. So I uh, make sure you uh, take that whole part out. Uh, it's kind of hard. Cause, you know, it, so you have to kind of like go around it uh, with a some some kind of screwdriver and just uh, break it apart. Um, but if you do it uh, pretty slowly, uh, everything should be fine. As you can see right there, uh, I'm trying to, uh, you know, trying to put it on there, and uh, I already knew something was wrong, cause. That black piece that I didn't take off, the black plastic part, it's uh, it's creating extra space. So uh, those uh, those uh, part of the headphones is not uh, you know attaching close enough. All right, let's move on. So uh, this part, um, I was still being stubborn. I was uh, still hoping that uh, uh, even though it, it doesn't look right, uh, you know maybe I can still place it on and it still looks good. So. Uh, so you can see, I still apply it on there. Um, you know, remove the sticker and uh, with the uh, hopes that <laughs> that it would look good, um, and it didn't. If you look closely between the silver part and the white part, uh, you can still see the the black uh, plastic um, that I didn't take off properly. And uh, it just, you know, it makes it look, um, just makes it look, you know, ghetto. So fast forward to the other one. Uh, as you can see, I've already uh, got the, the old part off and I'm still being stubborn. Um, see, I didn't take off the plastic part. You should be able to see in a second. Uh, but right there... Uh, it has like a little groove where you plug, uh, where you charge your headphone, and that makes it easier to uh, uh, to choose which side uh, to you know to put your uh, replacement part on. See that? So that's when I started uh, even realizing more that hey, uh, something's not right because uh, having that extra plastic right there made it uh, difficult to you know to do to place it on there properly. So after realizing I was wrong and wasting about 20 minutes of my time, I uh, finally faced up to it. Um, so as you can see, I'm using my Leatherman, uh, using my uh, flat screwdriver part, the Leatherman. Um, I think a few times I, I used the uh, Another part too, there's like a knife part on there, but uh, so just go around, uh, 
you know, even use my hands and just try to remove all of it slowly. All right. All right, like I said, about 20 minutes of my time, I finally got it all off. So that's how it's supposed to look like. Nice, clean, clear. Um, you see, I place it on there, just uh, line up the grooves of uh, where the charger is. We're plugging uh, the cord. And look at that. That's how it's supposed to look. Nice and flat. All right, here's the other part. Um, if you look inside the the black, you know, the black part of your new uh, part there for your headphones, uh, you'll see some uh, circular uh, part. Uh, some of it are sticking out also, a little piece. Uh, so all you gotta do is line that up. It's pretty easy. Um, and also that middle groove. If you look at the headphones, there's like a middle groove right there. Line that up with a hole, and uh, that's it. Nice and simple. Uh, the glue is pretty strong. Uh, well, I've had it for about two months now. By the time I record this video, and uh, you know, I I use it all the time. Um, my little niece uses it, little nephew, and uh, I mean, I I definitely recommend just you know doing it yourself, and going with this company. So this last part. Just make sure you go around and uh, push the whole thing in, so uh, make sure it sticks to the glue. And after that, that's it. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, at least, you know, if you get to watch this video, uh, save you time from the, you know, the part that I messed up on. Alright, uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. And... Uh, I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you. Hey guys, if uh, if you enjoyed watching this video and you think it really helped you out, uh, go ahead and uh, press the like button. That would really help me out. Uh, this is my first official video, uh, but I have uh, I have so many gadgets that uh, that I'm gonna go over soon, and. Um, and also subscribe, you know. Go ahead and start supporting me so you can see the, the future videos I'm going to be making. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.